in a 2000 segment of his CNN headline news program discussing nude photos. Beck said to his female guest, Dinah Sansing, I've got some time in a camera, why don't you stop by? That was the last time they agreed to be on his show again picture of you and then it would be posted all around and you'll you, it'll happen in your office yeah possibly <laughs> you don't think so well it depends you know Dina, depends. i've got some time and a camera why don't you stop by no okay um <laughs> do, do you think that with american idol uh this is really pretty much a win-win for them on may 12 2008 as a live news teaser was played Sue Simmons was reportedly heard angrily asking a co-worker, What the fuck are you doing? She later apologized on air for her inappropriate language. The incident has been mocked in several sketches on CBS's Late Show with David Letterman. More at the grocer, but getting less will tell you how to get the most. The fuck are you doing? The fuck are you doing? Alina Merco, she does it on purpose. Not that I'm complaining. Ah, Lina. So, also, Jovic, nach Versprechen. Vorher sage ich danke, Daniel Engelbart. Apparently not realizing they were still on air, KTLA weather presenter Liberté Chen made to wear sweater on air after viewer criticizes dress. So, advisory in place tonight and even into tomorrow. What's going on? You want me to put this on? Why? Because it's cold? I'm getting a lot of emails. What? The librarian has gone to a cocktail party. <laughs> you know what? How about this? There you I'm go. Gonna, I'm gonna go. There you go. Everyone's got an opinion about your dress this morning. All right. Well, I'm sorry, but the Tucker Carlson falls asleep on Fox and Friends. After hosting a late night show on Fox, Tucker Carlson fell asleep on air during his morning hosting duties. <laughs> He's really asleep. <laughs> I don't think we're being good co-hosts right now. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome to Fox and Friends. Chris Barrowis, morning news anchor at KTLA, got a little carried away while laughing and accidentally revealed he's not wearing any pants behind the anchor desk. A Macquarie Bank spokesperson, Martin Lasko, speaks to Channel 7 reporter Chris Bath, while David Keeley, another employee, looks at apparent nude photos of Miranda Kerr. Keeping in mind that with 3% cash rates, which was where they were at their low, was very accommodative. Uh, and now they're moving back towards a more standard neutral position, which would be somewhere between 45 and 5%. Uh, certainly at this stage, we're estimating that uh, by the end of this year, we'll be back towards 4.75%. So we still think there's a bit of upside on those cash rates, but at this stage, Reserve Bank's obviously deemed that it wants to wait and see, to see the effects of the last three rate rises that it's put in place late last year. And sometimes this takes up to, uh, you know, six to nine months before they actually see that effect. All right, Martin, thanks for that. As PIX11 reporter Mario Diaz was reporting Reporting on a news story, a woman walking by attempted to kiss Diaz. The woman turned out to be singer-songwriter Erica Badu. Make his first appearance, but in this case, uh, LaBeouf did not have that, and LaBeouf obviously, excuse me, LaBeouf obviously kept on moving uh, during the course of this scenario, um, avoiding all cameras. I left myself who couldn't avoid a fan just now <laughs> trying to kiss me. Have you ever heard of the saying, doing it like bunnies? There is plenty of truth in that saying. Bunnies made indiscriminately, even when they are on live television. And then they do what bunnies do. Dinner outside. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> he can't do that up here. They can be up here, but that, okay. That I should have put the dance. You, you got to stop that, Maura. <laughs> All right, let's go to this. We will announce the third rabbit's name in nine months. <laughs> have a terrific day and a great Easter. That was a first. <laughs> Before we start, please click like and then subscribe to the channel. This reporter was covering a fire in the Jacksonville, Florida area when he got photobombed the most random way possible. It was a woman shrieking, wearing a tutu and a unicorn mask. Ambulance just left, a fire truck just left, and there's a firefighter there right now, uh, but uh, everyone is out safe. And we're live now tonight. David Williams, First Coast News, ABC 12, ABC 25, back to you. Beetle, moth, or roach? Mary Beth McDade from KTLA doing live shot and has a big bug land on her. Ah! Ah! Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. 
coming to get it. Oh, God. Come on. She was attacked by a mole. Oh, Stop. my God. No, that might be a that, roach. That looks like no, a roach. That looks like a beetle. I, I don't think it's a roach. It's Hugh Jackman was filmed on live television creeping up behind a Channel 10 reporter and delivering a line to the camera, photobomb. For those who donate to the fight camps. <laughs> the best kind of photobomb, Hugh. <laughs> CNN's Don Lemon reporting drunk live on New Year's. No, Don. I love you, Kathy. No. I love you. You don't, um, you don't want to hear I mean, my I love you too, too <laughs> but we really don't need to see what's no, about to no, happen here. No, no, Don. I love you, Don. No, right, no, right, right, no. Right. keep it closed. All right, all right. Hang on. Hang on. Tell him what we had to do first. We had to be in a sterile place. Can we, can we please place, not uh, give him shots, by the way? And then uh, everything's pretty sterilized, ready to go. So we're good. Okay, okay, I'm cut. The time, the time has almost arrived. Awkward silence as Mark Kriske compares hot weather to assault. All right, uh, the weather is kind of uh, like Harvey Weinstein's assaulting us today with the heat and the temperatures above 100. KTLA reporter slips and falls at mall while doing a Black Friday story. She drops her new microphone, shoes, and coffee. Greg Kelly fails. This one time, he also fell off of a Segway or something like that. Lauren Elena, though. I don't know. That's all like her. No. Oh, sorry. Dude, dude, dude. Sorry. Right. You're right. Great. That's what I get for giving her such Meteorologist suffers hilarious green screen fashion fail when her dress blends into her map. But chivalrous anchor steps in to save the day. Oh my gosh, I was gone one day, okay. one newscast. Okay. We have Glenn Beck again on our list. As he was talking about Obama's immigration plans, Beck took things a bit too far. He appeared outraged and even compared the former POTUS's plans to the act of starting a fire. For him, that was exactly what Obama was doing to the country. Aside from this, he poured gasoline on his non-consenting guests and yelled, President Obama, why don't you just set us on fire? I'm President Obama. This is the way I feel. I feel like President Obama is just saying, you know what? <laughs> I've got that that three point five trillion dollar budget that we're doing. You know, is this is this cold? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you know, a budget <sighs> where only the fat they cut out is national defense. Uh, we have the growing Social Security. We have <sighs> Medicare, Medicaid obligations, right? <laughs> Let me get some over here. And that's that puts us on the hook now for about fifty three trillion dollars. Now. The she could be speaking fluent English. I would still have no idea what she was saying. Politiekorpsen van 10 Europese landen hebben een grote mensensmokkelbende opgerold. 75 bendeleden zijn opgepakt, waaronder drie in Nederland. De groep opereerde vanuit Irak en bracht Irakese Koerden zonder officiële papieren naar Europa. Het onderzoek begon twee jaar geleden in Frankrijk en groeide uit tot een Europees onderzoek met de, co met de, co 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 met, met de codenaam Operatie Baghdad. Press like if you love this video. If you like this video, please share it.